What's up guys? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis in the studio with the star of the Diary of the Wimpy Kid Dog Days, it's Zachary Gordon. Um, the star of a franchise. Third movie came out over the weekend. How are you feeling about it? Ah, uh, really good. I mean it's it's been a crazy run, you know, it's it's awesome. I mean, uh, it's sort of like a roller coaster ride. I mean, there's a few bumps, but it's overall awesome. Now, I love that you mentioned roller coaster ride right off the bat because that's one of the standout scenes in the movie. What was it like shooting that? Because we had Peyton List here last week, one of your co-stars, and she gave me a little bit of back info, but I would love to hear your side of the story. Well, uh, I mean, while we were filming there, obviously it was at a theme park. Mm -hmm. You know, it, was, it wasn't green screen, it was real, which was awesome. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was definitely nerve-wracking. We had to sit in the uh, chairs for about an hour just for them to set up the camera, so it got a little bit intense. But, uh, you know, when they started, it was it was really fun. I mean, it was hard to do dialogue and, you know, continue with the ride, but it was, I mean, it turned out well. But I literally went on eight more times later that day. Yeah, so uh, it was, you know, the producers and, you know, the uh, the director said that just because it was such an awful, you know, crazy ride and not many people could really, you know, go through with it. They had to, you know, basically sort of motivate us, so they kind of gave us iPads, which was... Um, that's what yeah. I heard. Yeah, I mean... Talk we, about a bonus. Yeah, we were really lucky. I mean, but it cost $20 to go on that ride, you know, regularly. So, I mean, we were we were sort of lucky, but it was really intense. I mean, a lot of people Were you scared at all? It's okay. This is no, a trust circle. I really was. Yeah. In the beginning, I was, I was really nervous because I hadn't gone on a, a ride like that intense. But oh, it was man. probably like the, the craziest ride I had been on was the Hulk at Universal in Florida. <laughs> that's pretty good also. Yeah, actually, that's fun. Though. So, you know, now that you're three movies in and you've grown so close to this character, how is this movie different from the previous two? You know, uh, obviously it's different because, it, you know, it takes place during summer. But, uh, you know, Greg, he's more of like a relaxed kind of guy. He doesn't, you know, go all out on things and he just takes his time. But he... He tries to get things done, you know, as soon as possible, and he already knows it's going to turn out great for him, which it, it does eventually, but not right away. But, uh, you know, over summer vacation, he already knows that he wants to sit back, relax, and play video games and sleep in like, like an average teenager. Mm -hmm. But uh, his mom and his dad have totally different ideas of what he should be doing, and so his, his mom wants him to bond with his dad, and his dad wants him to get a job at his uh, office, you know, for an internship. And, uh, in all that commotion, Greg blurts out that he already has a job at a country club, which which isn't true. <laughs> so uh, it's basically mainly what's crazy with you know this movie is that he's trying to balance you know having this fake job and you know it's good to have his parents off his case, but it's hard to you know cover for it. And I imagine that you and the cast, you guys have been together for how many years now? Three years. I mean, what's it been like just developing these friendships? I'm sure you guys must have a blast on the set, just hanging out. It must literally feel like summer camp. At you know, times. it does feel like summer camp. And it's sort of like school because we do have to, you know, maintain school on set. But uh, what's sort of a struggle is since, you know, when you're working, you know, so much, because I'm in like every scene, I mean, it's, it's hard to juggle all that. I mean, I have to, every time I have a five minute break, I have to go to school. I can't really hang out with anyone. And right. I have to do school for like five hours on the weekend. So that's, I mean, it's really worth it. You know, in the end, I have really an incredible time. I mean, it's, these friendships are so unique because it's just, we play off each other so well in the movies because we, we bonded so well filming. And I would imagine that you get recognized by fans all the time. You're on every billboard in LA. I swear I see you all over the place. What's been your most interesting fan interaction as of yet? You know, so far I haven't really had many crazy ones. I mean, you know, most of my fans are really nice. You know, they're really supportive. I. I'm not, I mean, I really wouldn't be here without them, so I have to, you know, I really, if I was in their position, I wouldn't want, you know, someone to act like a jerk, like they're full of themselves, so, I mean, not that everyone is like that, but just there are a few people like that, mm -hmm. and I try, I try my best not to be, because it's, you know, you have to be really thankful, I'm so fortunate, you know, to be in this position, and I mean, the one weirdest thing that ever happened to me was probably a fan asked me if I have KFC bargain buckets. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. It was, I mean. As you do. I've, I mean, I've never <laughs> actually, I've went to like KFC once in my life. I mean, I'm not like into that fast food stuff. Well, you gotta every once in a strong, while. You yeah. Know? yeah, healthy, eat your veggies. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, it's that was definitely a bit weird, but he was a nice kid, so I it covered for so that. So do you? I mean, let's just No, I mean, it. I don't. I've never, I didn't even hear, hear of those. It's <laughs> I just, don't know what that is either. It was the, I know, it was, I'm like, bargain buckets. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. Oh, man. Yeah. And we're so sad. We heard that this is the last movie, probably. What's the story? What can you tell us? It most likely, you know, will be the last movie. The, the main problem is, is we're, we're getting older. I mean, you can't you know, stop it, you know, there's no way to, you know, temporarily, you know, stop us from, you know, changing and growing up, but, you know, that's the problem, because the characters are supposed to be timeless, and it's, you know, we try to work around it as much as we can. This third one was, we sort of tried to squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. We could, you know, maybe do another one. You never know. You hopefully. never know. I would love to see in like 15 or 20 years, you guys all get back together and sort of revisit the characters. What do you think would be happening if you guys did that? Where would all the characters be? If you had to take a wild guess, what would Greg be up to? You know, I think I think Greg would eventually realize that his that his observation of how his life would be like, you know, when he's older, like a rich millionaire, mm -hmm. and he gets everything just like by snapping his fingers. I don't think it's gonna work out for him. I think, He'll eventually realize that he has to, you know, sort of work in life. But I mean, it, he will definitely grow up. I mean, he, he has learned his lessons, you know, throughout these movies. And I think there's one big lesson that will help him, you know, become, you know, successful in the future is that his dad tells him in this third film is, you know, a man who never made a mistake really never made anything. And I think you have to learn from your mistakes and own up to them. And I think if Greg learns that quality, which I think he does, uh, he'll, you know, he'll have a good life. True that. I hope him and Holly end up together too. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Maybe. Or maybe Greg will just be, you know, chasing after her, you know, for the rest <laughs> of his life. For eternity. Yeah. Um. So the movie is already out. It's doing amazing at the box office. I'm guessing you've seen it at least once. What were you most excited about when you saw it live? You know, the weird thing is, is when you film these movies, it's, it's like you don't even think about it. You just, you're in character. Well, I mean, I personally, I try to get in character as. You know as well as I can. Mm -hmm. I, I try to you know deal with the situations the way Greg would. But uh, it's just that it's weird when you film it because when you watch it, you know when it's done, you don't watch it for the movie. I mean you do, but it's you think of all the memories that you had, and you know when you film that scene, it's just I remember what happened that day. That's why I, I particularly don't have a a favorite scene. I mean it's just like each scene holds a special memory, and the whole films you know throughout these three. These three movies, I've had such great times, you know, friendships, you know, I will keep with me for the rest of my life, and I've learned so much. Very cool. And coming up next, you're starting high school. Yeah, you'll see Greg in high school. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see Zachary in high <laughs> yeah. school. Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of your summer. Thanks for making some time to stop by and hang out with us. My pleasure. You're always welcome at the studio. Come back. Yeah, for cool. sure. And you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out this guy, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days, or maybe go see it again and again, for that matter, right? Yeah, it, it never gets old. It does not. It's a classic. Thanks so much for watching Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis. We'll see you guys next time.